Farm Girl here. Uh, we have had a lot of people lately asking us about our equipment that we use. We do shoots for Patreon and videos for YouTube. Um, and here are just a few things that we've pulled out. Uh, we've got our lighting, which creates all the magic. <laughs> and it's not no magic oh, it doesn't have battery no yet. magic is needed with you yes yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> i don't know about that um and this one has a nice filter so we can make it warmer yeah a little bit of diffusion on that it's a little magnet those kind of things yeah yeah i like having options yeah and like this yeah we have a nice tripod here that we can hook a phone up to because we like to use our phones when we're videoing, <laughs> taping. Make, we're making, not, you don't tape anymore, right? It's not video. We're not it's, filming. Well, I guess we are filming. Yeah. Kind of. So this is a cradle for the uh, iPhone or for any phone, I guess. And I really like this Cause style. Because it swivels. Because it's so sturdy, you know. You just stick that on there. Yeah. Instead of these old fashioned kind, you just you screw these things right onto your tripod, and that one screws right on. And uh, yeah, I like it, which makes me think about this. We got a nice package in the mail recently, and um, it's from a company called Geek Geekodo. Mm -hmm. Gato. Yeah, um, that was nice of them to send us that. Yeah, so they, sent they us wanted us to try out tripod. Their, their tripod. Gika, Gikoto. Gikoto. I think it sounds kind of kind of Japanese, maybe. Well, look, they have their su <laughs> support email right on the box. I like that. Nice. I wish other companies had that. <laughs> what did we get? What did we get? That right there. In case anybody wants to look it up. This is kind of nice packaging. Got a nice little carry case mm -hmm. and some stuff. <laughs> hmm. And a membership card to Geekoto. Geekoto. <laughs> I'm geeking out. <laughs> mm -hmm. How does it feel? It feels good. Smooth. Oh, good. That's interesting. It's got a lot of different functions to it. So don't break it right away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so did you see that first position Look you had this. it in? I think I've seen these online. That is cool. D did you see how it was originally? Mm -hmm. how, does, how does that happen? You push that up. Yeah. Okay, so if it's like that, do, do, do that again with all the legs? No, put them all up. Because there's some way, not all the way, that you can turn it upside down and have your camera on ground level, you see. I think you do it like this. Oh. And then you can actually have your camera down, upside down. You see what I mean? Oh, yeah. You pull up the center hmm. piece. How do you release this? Hold that. Oh, I, I guess you screw that. And then shove this up through the top. Can you oh. push that up? Mm, no, you have to move these. And then I think maybe unscrew and it. See if that'll push up no. through the top. There you go. Yeah. Now you can oh. hold, you can push. Okay, now put the legs back down. Tighten this first. <laughs> I just wanted to see this before you get it set up as a traditional tripod. Because I've seen this on the internet. Uh, but why would you want to do that? <laughs> because, because if you're shooting something down on ground level, mm -hmm. like if you're shooting this direction and you, want, and you, you don't want to lay down on the ground, you can just hook your camera oh, yeah. up under here. That would have been good for the oil changing video. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and of course, you can raise all this up <clears throat> so that your camera 
is just an inch or so off the ground. Very okay. cool. So that, that is a pretty cool function. I've never seen that in a tripod before. Anyway. Yeah, I think that'll be useful. Yeah. How do you... Oh. So just... Oh. Hmm. It's got the screw type of... Alright, so I can see it's going to be... It's going to give me some nice height that my other one wasn't giving me. Okay. Oh. See? Yep. So it articulates, and then as soon as I tighten this up, you can't move it anymore. And then this tightens this up. Yeah. So this has got, I think, like a quarter inch... Uh, connection on there for most of your cameras and lights and things and you see I can put uh, for for example I can put this on here you have to take this off of here uh -huh. and then screw this up through the bottom see there should be a wing nut oh, on the yeah. bottom of there that you can handle to screw that up into here yeah yeah that little winder there you go. It's got to be quarter inch. See? There you go. And you have to release. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're you're a camera chick now. <laughs> I'm good at this stuff. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So that is cool. Well, that was very nice. Yeah, it looks uh, to be of good quality. There are a couple of features that I like better on my old Sun Pack, and one is this uh, this release right here. You see, you squeeze this, and it releases this to articulate. And as soon as you let it go, it locks it in place. I like that. That is a really nice feature. This one has all of this the movement, but you have to situate it and then lock it by twisting this and the other thing that I like better about the old model is the clip it's just one single action and that's locked with these with this with this new one you have to kind of make sure you screw these all down properly or it starts to collapse and that's just that'll just take a little getting used to we'll give it uh, we'll test it see what we think detachable monopod so this comes off right here I guess hold that ball, will you? oh and then you can yeah so this is just it a sta there? stabilizer this is a monopod oh right so what you would hook the camera right there you'd have to and have, just carry it around yeah you'd have to have uh they probably have something on here i'm not sure exactly how you do it to connect to your uh you know to create another seat like mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. interesting i'm sure you can take some of that off and put it on here right mm -hmm. very cool all right all right let's shoot some patreon pictures and videos Pretty tidy, lefty, Lucy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what we have here is a. This is this little clamp is for. You a see, door. it's got a quarter inch connector on mm -hmm. there. You can put a light on that or anything, and you can connect this to a uh, top of a door and shine a light on a subject, etc. Got a bounce, which is cool. So. As any photographer knows, some people don't know what a bounce is. Um, this is ah! <laughs> a runaway bounce. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So you can reflect light onto your subject. So if your model is not uh, lit enough, you can you can reflect light onto them. I love bounces. And I love this little light. <laughs> and this one has different. It's it's a kit. It's got different. Uh, colors gold and white oh, and yeah. black and silver I forgot about that. and that little light is awesome 
<laughs> yep. Cool. Look how bright that is. And you. So X Man shoots like this. I hold it by the. <laughs> I hold it by the battery. Yep. Yep. And I have my camera in one hand and that fill light in the other. That's a nice. And show me the back. Show me how that works. Yeah, you hold it. I like to hold it by the battery. Battery chargers. That's the for kind those of batteries. Yeah, that's the kind of battery you use on it. Yeah. And sometimes if you use a real camera. I don't use that very much. And this is what? That is a selfie stick that we use for our walk and talk. Telescoping selfie stick. Yeah. yeah. So I like that. So if you ever see our, us do a walk and talk video, that is what we use right there. And that's just some nice. of the stuff, right? Yeah. We love this little carry case. Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Oh, and where is... Let me see. Let me grab... I've got another piece of gear that I use. I think it's in my drawer here. There it is. Gimbal? Yeah. Why don't you pop this... Is it, well, no, it's a violin. Yeah. <laughs> it's my, it's it's my tiny, tiny bass fiddle. So this is something that my son bought for us, uh, for me, for Christmas. Is this the better the and power? We use this at the hotel where Janis Joplin died. You put your phone right in here, you cradle it, and it will stabilize. It's like a steady cam. And uh, when we used it where at the hotel where Janis died, it kept turning off. Remember that? It was and so going weird. limp. Yeah. yeah. As soon as Jen would start talking about Janice ODing, the, the gimbal would fail. All right. I guess that's it for now. I was trying to make it. Do no, it no, thing. you don't want to turn it on when it's not when there's not a camera on it. Uh oh. It'll... How do I turn it off? Okay. Yeah. Think. Oh, there it is. So we already know that this articulates this way. But it also articulates on this ball. That is you really can hook something. It there. And tighten it up. How about that? And then you can move it around. Oh, that is I like what that. What can we do with this? Wow. <laughs> okay. And this is did I show this yet? This is my oh, little wide angle lens. Wide angle lens. So watch this. When I want to go wide angle, I just put that on there. See how much more image you I get. You want to go all wide angle on it? Yeah. If I'm going to get Quentin Tarantino on you, I'll just do that. <laughs> yeah. You got to watch these wide angles though, because watch Farm Girl's head when I put her up in the corner. Wait, it'll distort her head. Yeah, 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 I don't like that. <laughs> okay. That's not cool. Well, I think that is about... Whoop, that's backwards. Oh, you just touched my lens, didn't you? <laughs> I don't have anywhere to Clean work. it on your bikini. <laughs> Let me see how you clean that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for showing us all the gear. Yeah, so... And for thank you, you thank you to people. the to these people for sending this. Uh, yes, people thank Geek you. Goto for sending That's that tripod. Very cool. We'll uh, get plenty of use out of it. So we know that there's a quarter inch mounting screw there, but if you take this part off, underneath you have oh, you have three options. eighths. Uh, yeah, I think that's three eighths. And then, okay. yep, and then you can raise that up. Mm -hmm. Lots of different options. It is expensive to do some of this stuff, so it's nice yeah. when people send you things to try like this. I think we're going to like it. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.